Hi friends, this is Prasad. You're watching Power BI with Prasad. Today I come up with a new real-time scenario which was asked by one of our subscribers. So I want to just explain what we are going to do right the requirement is like we do have producers and their contribution towards revenue we do have. We need to find their contribution, individual producers contribution, and then comparing with the maximum uh, contributor who produced maximum contribution, the same time comparing with the total revenue that we have and the percentage of contribution, that particular total revenue of the individual contributor. This is what that we want to find today in a GOG chart. That is, that is also, especially in a GOG chart, we want to do everything uh, which we discussed right now, we want to show that in a GOG chart. So this is how we do that. So before going into the solution, just uh, let me give a small intro of mine, like, okay, we teach Power BA. Okay, so we teach Power BA with SQL batches, and then also real-time projects. We are starting a re, uh, uh, regular batches soon. So please, uh, if you're interested, just come and contact the number so you can uh, have a discussion with the, our uh, admin people. And then if you're interested, you can join with us. A lot of real time approach and then completely live sessions with you today. Right? Again, uh, a lot of other things we share over here in our Telegram channel, which is Power BI with Prasad. Please try to join our Power BI Prasad Telegram channel. Link is in the description. You can find them and try to like, uh, subscribe to my Power BI channel if you're not yet done. Just uh, go ahead and click the subscribe button and then hit the bell icon so that you can get all my videos, updates in your okay, YouTube regularly. Again, let's don't waste our time. We'll go into our uh, scenario and then find it. So first of all, let me show you the data, like uh, uh, what's the data and then how we do that. These are like producers I do have and then their contribution. So whatever they contributed timely, Okay, again, I don't have any uh, time-based things or something else. It is very simple thing. I do have a producer and then I do have uh, their contribution. So simple model. So again, we go ahead and see what we can show. Again, what they require. They require us to get the individual producer's contribution. Okay, that's just the maximum contributor. At the same time, what is the part of contribution in the whole of like total revenue? So all these things at the same time, I want to find the percentage of contribution towards the total revenue. Okay. A lot of individual things at the same time, a lot of comparisons that we need to show in the data. So to, to, to do this, okay, we need to have a couple of measures that we need to like make it at the same time to make it more uh, responsive and then uh, more interesting. I made some, uh, formatting over here so show it okay how it looks like so let me show you the example over here and then you can see that one so whenever it is not met uh the maximum contribution it will be in the blue color and then percentage it will show us like how much percentage of contribution is there and then what is his contribution and then if you if it is not exactly the maximum then uh, the color will be in the blue color and then his, his contribution towards the total, like 21.67 percentage here, the producer five made his contribution, 21.67 percentage of contribution okay, in the total, all five producers revenue, right? And then here you can find, okay, he is, producer four had made his max maximum contribution, okay, towards the revenue uh, in all other, okay, five things. So he is, uh, his contribution has been shown in red color then he made 29.06 percentage, which is like 590K over here, right? How to make this one? Very simple thing. So again, here you can get your producers in your slicer. Again, this is a slicer. And then if you click on this, so you can simply see that I made it into like, right, properties. Uh, Right, okay, come over here and the slicer just made it horizontal. So you can see that, okay, rather than make, rather than, I don't want to make it in a uh, vertical way, I want to make it in a horizontal, in a like tabs way, so that it looks more prettier because I do have more space over here. If you don't have that kind of space, then you can make it just like horizontal and then you can make it uh, whatever, like drill down, like, okay, feature or else, whatever, list features or drop down feature, whatever. 
right? That's fine. And then we'll go ahead and see what are the measures that have been created and then how we placed over here to make this wonderful cog chart. Again, this is not just a cog chart. There is some other things. You can explain this as a KPI also, but still we'll make it up to like Gantt chart, right? Again, to explain that, I just made it in different ways. Like I just split it into like, okay, uh, completely okay uh, in detailed way so that you can understand exactly what I'm able to show that. Very first thing is this is uh, the slicer where you get okay uh, the producers into this one, right? And again, the individual contribution. I just need to find the individual contribution just using this particular contribution. That's nothing bad. Some some of the revenue contribution. This particular this particular column. Some of that particular revenue contribution revenue contribution have been made in a measured, simple. And again. But I want to compare between okay the individual contribution and the total revenue. Then I need to remove all the filters that was applying on that one. So again, I just made that one. So total revenue, how I made this, just calculate okay the, the, the contribution measure sum of the revenue. At the same time, I want to like remove all the filters from this okay produce from this column. I want to remove all the producers. So obviously. Uh, filters has been removed. If you filter, even though that but it doesn't get filtered, you'll get the total sales, the total revenue, which was which you are able to see over here. Even whatever the producer has been selected, you can see the contribution over there and then the total revenue, which is not moving, which is completely the total sales of all producers, or total revenue of all producers. That's why using this, I made it. But again, we need to have the contribution. So towards like, what is his contribution in the total revenue? So to find that very simple thing, like again, so here you can find this contribution percentage, which gives us okay uh, the contribution okay percentage. So we use a divide function to divide the contribution, which is sum of uh, revenue uh, by uh, the total revenue, which is like uh, uh, remove uh, the revenue with uh, removing all the filters from this particular producers. This is this three simple measures. I mean, made, but at the same time, I want to find the maximum contributor. What he made it? How much does the uh, does the maximum contribution is done? So I want to find it. So here, if you see, like I do have, like okay, three, four, four is the maximum because he done twenty nine percent, and then all others are okay less than that. But again, I want to find it. Okay, but not like hard coding the producer four or something else. When someone is going to do some other contribution, then that's he's going to be like okay. Uh, 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 the biggest maximum contributor, but I want to find it dynamically. How we can make it? Just I made a maximum contribution measure. Just it's, that's a simple thing. So again, here I don't want to create another table, so I want to make it in, in this one. So calculate max x, and in, in that one as a table, I summarize the table. So what I made it, I summarize the table uh, uh, by producers, and then I found okay the total sales of contribution. So from that, like aggregated uh, revenue, like uh, uh, producer wise, then I found, okay, uh, uh, removing all the producers, I, I want to find the maximum contributor. This is how you can do it. If you, if you make it simply like maximum of something like okay, this, you will find, okay, whoever made the maximum individual contribution. We don't want that. We need to have find producer wise, or per, per producer's contributions, total contribution. From that, we need to find what is the maximum so that then only you can get it. For that, this is what I've been written. So calculate max x. So again, as a table for that max x function, so I've given the summarized table. So this is what I've been given. So I summarized uh, based upon the producers, what is the total revenue that they contributed? What is the total contribution at the day that they made towards Revenue, I've been made it. So again, we'll we'll find okay, uh, five uh, producers and then five total contributions. So obviously, from that summarized table, I want to find contribution, maximum contribution, right? So obviously, it will go row by row in this five okay um, rows, so which was uh, done by this one, and then find it who made the maximum contribution, and again with deleting all the filters on the producer. They've been deleted all the producers. So even though you click something over here, that doesn't get filtered. So obviously you get a summarized table. Uh, so 
with respect to like okay removing all the filters and then you will find all the producers and their contribution and then from that you can get who is the maximum contributor so the maximum contribution i got it from here again i don't want to bother about who is the one who made that contribution again if you want to make it that's not a uh, pretty big deal but still i want to make it only maximum contribution the maximum amount that okay was made by a single producer so i found it over here again so these values i'm using in my box chart and then i'm trying to produce like one that we are able to see again here okay one other thing i made as a told like contribution percentage i can put that one in my box chart but i want to get that one in my information so i make it just simply before going to that particular okay, contribution percentage i want to go ahead and tell you like what i've been made over here very simply, like let me explain over here so that you can understand what is this one. So again, this is a GOG chart, which it takes from here. So this is what we call it as GOG chart. I took it. And after that, so you can go ahead and see that one. The values is nothing but the contribution. I've been taking the contribution in values and the maximum, the total revenue in the maximum value. This is what I've been shown. The total revenue over here in the maximum value. After that, uh, the, the target value, I want to show the maximum contributor as the target value. So others people, how much like they were lagged on, okay, they can see over here, right? So this is like producer five made like, okay, 440, but okay, the maximum contributor made 590. And then he made 21.67 percentage from the total, which is like 2 million approximately. Right? How we made it? Like see here, the target value, I dropped the measure over here. Again, we need the minimum value. Again, that's very simple, pretty good. Like you can go ahead and then give the minimum value out here. If you don't have a measure to calculate the maximum target value, you can make it hard-coded value over here also. But again, I do have a value. I do have a value which is like dynamic, which will change, okay, whenever some contribution has been made. So I want to make it in a measure and I want to give it in, okay, the particular fields. So being given that one, so you can, have this kind of things again how we made the color things okay all these things let me explain you a bit later before that i want to show you how i made it this okay the percentage again this is this 440 is his contribution where you get it from the dog chart but this is not a percentage okay which we go don't get from the dog chart for that what we need to do is simply take a card visual simply take a card visual so again this is a card visual and in that one what you can do simply right you can show that particular contribution percentage in that one without any borders, any sh shadows, anything. Just simply show it without any like background, anything, so that it looks like that. Plus, uh, included into that particular GOG chart, but generally it is not there. Again, the separator between that particular percentage and then uh, this uh, contribution part, just I made, okay, I just went into insert and then I took, uh, okay, some shapes like line. So I use that one over here so to, to divide that percentage and this particular contribution, which is like 440. That is how I made it. Again, after that, a lot of things have been made like a visual customization, like no, like uh, conditional formatting, field formatting kind of things. Just like this title. So whenever you don't select anything, so obviously like okay, it will show that. Okay, so. It will show such please select a provide a producer for compare and then if you select someone like you can see that one right <coughs> whenever you don't select anyone anyone it will show the total okay uh, uh, revenue which was done by like all the con uh, contributions if you select someone if you're not selecting it will shows like please select a producer name that's a simple thing you can use title over here and then if he's filtered if this is filtered then i want to show the con like contribution like whatever Okay, so contribution versus maximum versus whatever the title. If it is not filtered, if I'm not selecting any value, then I want to show this one. Please select a producer compared. Right. So this we used ease filter function to find whether it was filtered or not. Like based upon that, I used this one for what I want to show. I've been shown over here. And I just uh, just click double click on that one and then go ahead in the title. So that one's in the title. I'll just give that one. It's nothing bad. Pre formatting, and then I used to take that particular so title measure which are out, and then I just click OK. So you'll get that particular thing. If you don't select, if you select something, that you'll get the normalized or general title, right? So again, this is a, a responsive title. 
So works with okay what we do. That's fine. And again, the other thing, like okay, I want to make this okay again target. Simply go ahead and then let me see what is the formatting things that have been made. Target and then you select the color. That's uh, and then for the, uh, the color over here. Okay. So target color has been made the red color. But again, the fill color, the color which is getting filled over here, when we select that one, I made a particular what called as conditional formatting. I used fill formatting using a measure, and then I used over here. What is the measure? It's simply over here. If my contribution is equal to maximum contribution, then I want to show it in the same color which I made it for the target, this one. So red color, this one. And then if it is not exactly equal to the maximum contribution, then I want to make it this in blue color. I want to take this one into this fill color. So whenever it is like not equal to, whenever it is not equal to uh, the maximum contribution, 590, so which is over here, then it will show us the blue color. Whenever it is like exactly the same of 5, 590. So he's the maximum contributor. Whenever I click that maximum contributor, which is equal to the maximum contribution revenue, then obviously it will show us in red color, which will again gives more insightful information. Again, if you select something else and then you, Again, if you want to see multiple contributions, you can see that when if you click multiple people, then you can see their multiple contribution altogether. Altogether, these three people made like 68.97% of contribution, which is like 1 million approximate. Again, if you want to make the detailed number, you can make it over here. So go and then make it auto, but I want to make it in, go, go and then make it none. Okay, here. So go ahead here, and then like I'll show you that one. So again, uh get a label something else okay you can remove this and then make it like none so that you can see the detail value but i want to keep it like that because okay it messes okay all the like information like all the beautiful beautiness of this particular report line meets then we can make it that's not an issue this is how i made this particular uh, okay, gog chart so please have a look and then if you have any comments or if you need any uh some other requirements something else please okay comment uh, okay uh, just uh, leave your comments okay uh, and after that if you like this if you're still looking this report i hope that you have just uh, loved the way that i made it please try to share in different groups so that it will may be useful for a lot of other people okay. thank you so much for watching again i'll come up with a new real game scenario until then have a great day bye mm -hmm.